Welcome to Rogers & Associates. We're pleased and proud to introduce to you today our financial advisors and to share with you ways that they can benefit your financial planning and your investment strategies. And with us today is Jeremy Patrick. Jeremy is going to talk to us about the importance of the CFP designation, and that is the Certified Financial Planner right. designation. Right. Well, uh, what's the benefit to prospective clients and to your existing clients to have that well, the CFP designation is really the highest standard of professionalism and knowledge in the personal financial planning industry, and it's sort of like uh, the CPA for the accounting industry. So really to have a team of CFPs who are able to assist and support each other throughout any type of situation a client or prospective client may have. So it should really reassure prospective clients that walk into our doors we're going to be able to assist them through that situation or experience. And if not, we have the collective knowledge to help them in that situation. There's a deep bench strength there right. that you have as a team at Rogers & Associates. But describe, you mentioned uh, the CPA, and people are familiar with that because they've heard how difficult mm -hmm. the exam process is, the studying for it, and the rigor they put you through to get that CPA. Well, in this instance, describe the training an advisor gets in order to attain the Certified Financial Planner, the CFP designation. Well, it starts with about a thousand hours of coursework. I can still remember staying up late at night learning stuff about income tax and estate planning, college planning and insurances. And after that, you're going to sit for a two-part six-hour exam. So it's split up into three hours each. And then after that, you're required about 2,400 hours of in-training experience under a current CFP professional or 3,600 hours in training with a firm that provides comprehensive financial planning. So overall, the process can take years and years, and I believe that's why there aren't a lot of financial advisors within the industry that hold the CFP designation because it is such a huge investment of your time, and you have to really be dedicated to receiving that designation to become a CFP professional. I'm not sure a lot of people realize that because there are all kinds of little uh, symbols behind people's names. Right. Like CSA, you'll see that, that one. Uh, right. Certified Senior Advisor, for instance. But this is the industry standard. This is the gold uh, measure of whether you are um, a, a legitimate, accredited, Correct. certified financial planner, right? Mm -hmm. What do you think are the main benefits for a prospective client or an existing client to be getting advice from a certified financial planner? Well, really what a prospective client or client can look forward to receiving from a certified financial planner is a comprehensive financial plan. So they're going to be able to look at, and analyze, and provide feedback on your complete financial picture. So they're going to be looking at your estate plan. They're going to be looking at your income tax situation any type of college planning that you've done if you have young children, your insurance coverage, and your investments and retirement plan on top of that. So a certified financial planner isn't just going to look at one or two things. A prospective client and client can expect to receive a full package from a certified financial planner. Well, thanks so much, Jeremy, for coming in and sharing your insights. Mm -hmm. We appreciate it.